know the game, know the game, know the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can join the notification game and never miss an upload. What's up players? It's Outer Wild here and today we're gonna do something a little different. The past couple of weeks I've just been releasing random money plays, random defenses, random blitzes from different schemes with no kind of like cohesion. It's not really something that you can put together into one playbook and you can take it online and, and run with it. So what I'm gonna start doing or hopefully start doing from this week forward is to focus each week around a different playbook and a different scheme that you can put together a couple days worth of schemes together and you can use it as like a scheme that you want to use online a game plan the scheme ebook whatever you want to call it so today we're going to focus on the gun trips tied in out of the, the new england patriots playbook now the gun trips tied in is found in other formations so it's not limited to just this playbook the play we're going to use is the double in sale the trips tied in I know it can be found in the Browns and the Chargers, and this double and sale play can be used found in there as well. So it's not limited to this playbook, but I'm probably going to come up with some other stuff out of the Pages playbook that is not found in other playbooks that have trips tied in. Let's just start off against a basic cover four. So when I'm running this play, I want to make sure that my running back and my tight end are on the short side of the field because that flat route works a little bit better against most of the flat zones like cloud flats and curl flats when it's on the short side of the field and here's the basic setup to this play i'm going to put ku t on a flat route triangle to y select ku t and then l2 or left trigger if you're on xbox to go ahead and put him on that flat route and then i'm going to go ahead and streak smith triangle to y select smith and streak now you can streak him you can leave him on his corner route or you can fade him that's always going to depend on what your opponent is doing so if he's going ahead and setting up intense yellow zones in the middle to where you can't really get the seam open then you want to go ahead and leave him on his corner route but that's going to be up to you and how your opponent responds to this so right here we're just in a normal cover three and your first read every single time is the running back there has to be a, a hard flat out there in order to pick that ball off if your opponent has cloud flats or curl flats or any kind of like soft squads most of the time that running back is going to get open for a five plus yard gain same thing against cover two now we're running cover two he has a cloud flat out there 99 zone it don't matter he's not going to be able to get down cloud flats are almost actually worse because you see we're able to get more open field right there the only way to stop it is by hard flat so you see here we got a hard flat by that corner and if that running back is covered then you obviously with the hard flat you obviously have the tight end open over top now you see how that vert hook carried that tight end a little bit more. I did a video on that a couple days ago or probably last week by the time this video came out where the vert hook will carry that corner out, out a little bit further than most of the yellow zones will, but you're still going to get it open on the a side of the field. So that right side of the field, your opponent is probably going to have to put a curl flat out there, probably have to play a hard flat. He's probably going to have to mabel that right side. But we also have a very simple coverage beater on the left side. So your opponent runs cover three, you have circle to hit the seams now we dropped that pass but we're hitting the seam of the defense with that uh that circle route not the circle yeah the, the circle receiver and you're just able to hit a quick pass right there quick 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 pass that running you see the running backs close and they're in the cover three you can go ahead and go straight over there so let's say your opponent makes an adjustment to go ahead and get rid of that okay now he's gonna now this, this is a, a, a legit setup your opponent can run he can have him on a hard a hard flat to guard the running back he can use it a tight end he can cover up that streak and and now he's gonna think okay i got him boxed but that's why you have that in route you have that in route right there you go ahead and get there the in route comes open wide open over the middle so it all obviously it depends it's a cat and mouse game but you have these four routes the four routes being the table route by the running back the corner route by the tight end the streak and the end route he has to worry about four routes and it's all up to you honestly to go ahead and make that distinction as to what one which one to hit which one to play with which one to pass to so he has to defend those four routes let's go against cover two real quick most cover twos we either leave um I was, we're just going to say he uses this one so i'm going to leave the mid read and the vert hook out there so obviously the first read you can make is the running back but we're going to look at the right the left side of the pass play right now hold on my control almost got unhooked so you're going to see here we should be able to hit the streak down the middle if he's if he doesn't have a, a middle a deep blue by that linebacker you should be able to hit the streak down the middle so let's set him up with a deep blue so now he he has the the, the streak covered 
and he would either use it he probably use this guy in a three four so let's go ahead and put him on this one that way we can have a little bit more adversity to our defense so go ahead we set it up like this you can either you can hit that flat right now and then eventually this route is going to get open on the uh, on the inside of the defense. So that's how I use it against cover two and cover three. I probably use a different plays against cover four, but that's a basic setup. So let's go into setup number two. Setup number two is going to be streak Kuti triangle Y. Select Kuti and push the D pad up on Kuti. And then you want to put Hopkins on a what is it called? I think it's called a it's called a smoke screen. So triangle Y. Select Hopkins. Press R2 for the smoke screen. Now the, the reads on the right side are exactly the same. So I'm not gonna focus on the right side right now because it's the same setup on the right side. But what this is gonna do is gonna high low that outside corner or high low that flat zone. If, if they're playing a hard flash to stop that table route and someone comes down low to guard Hopkins, then you're gonna hit the corner route, corner route to the outside. If they go back and sift back, you have to be disciplined and take that route by Hopkins so let's go ahead and run this play real quick you're gonna see here the defense goes short so you go ahead and you throw that corner out now we had a little bit covered there you have a better receiver there sometimes I like to smart route it so it gets open so I'll run the same play setup you select Smith triangle to Y select Smith and then press the R1 button to make it a shorter corner out because that corner out took a little bit too long to develop to me so let's go ahead and run like a normal cover three. Now we have our cloud flats out there. So you just simply make the read on the left side. If they go deep, then you go ahead. See, they went a little bit too far deep. I'm going ahead and hit that. It's a couple yards, especially useful on the third and shorts, the fourth and inches. When your opponent, like your opponent blitzes, now you have two flats on the outside to go ahead, two routes to attack the flat zones on the outside. So now we're just in the basic cover three. We're gonna run it against cover two eventually. But you see here, no one's out there on that corner route, so you go ahead and hit that corner route. It's a high-low read. If they go high, you hit low. If they go low, you hit high. So let's go ahead and run it against cover two. Cover two is probably, I think, one of the best defenses against this type of play simply because if you got a good cloud flat corner, then you're going to go ahead and be able to make a play on both. But it's not, it's not foolproof. So you see here we got here. This is what I prefer. Now you got room to make your plays. That's a five yard gain because that cornerback went deep. So that's, that's the second setup. You have the high low read on the outside. And I normally, I hit my smoke screen a lot. I hit it all the time. And I have a, I have a good receiver out there. I have Tyreek Hill who has good juke moves. So I hit that, I catch that pass and I'll juke the CPU defender. Now I'm going for 10 plus yards. Let's go up to setup number three. So setup number three can be the same. All you want to do to change to, to make this a little bit better. Let's go ahead. As you run the same as the last one, so you would streak your QT, triangle of Y, select QT, D pad up. Then you would put Hopkins on a you can leave him on an in route or you can put him on a smoke route. Triangle of Y. Select Hopkins. R2 for the smoke route. And then I would smart route Smith, the triangle route. Triangle of Y. Select circle and then press R1. I said triangle route, but I meant to say corner route. So then same setup, but I would just motion him over. That's gonna get a little bit more distracting for the user because now the user has to go ahead and guard that. And with the user guarding that corner route that I motioned over, now it leaves the tight end open for a corner route. So let's say he's in the cover three. He goes ahead and plays cloud flat. Since he's gonna be worried about Smith coming up over the middle, he's not gonna be able to use it to tie it into the outside. So let's say he's in cover two, he has this. He's not gonna be able to use it to tie it into the outside because I brought that, that corner route into his, his face. I brought it to his attention. So he's gonna to have to pick one. If he guards the tight end, we go to the corner route. And so it leaves the option for the user. Now he can't guard both corner routes or the corner post. So let's say, okay, right here, we got a, our cover three right here. And he goes and guards, he goes and guards Smith. This is the user go ahead and anticipating Smith coming on that route. Uh, let's make sure we got the right setup. He, he anticipates Smith coming over for that post route. And now he's gonna he's not gonna be able to use a guard or use a defend Griffin. So you come over here. Now we got Griffin open underneath. He goes and guards Griffin. Now we got the post. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. Let me know if I'm speaking a little bit too fast. I normally get hyped when I'm trying to talk about these play setups. So let me know if I'm speaking too fast. And on the next video, I definitely will slow it down. 
and I'll, I'll probably put some of these setups in the description below as well so you guys can follow along like through word so here we're going to have a setup to where the user is guarding the corner route because he's afraid of the corner route getting open because you just hit it same play setup you just motion over the, uh, the corner route off oh, i forgot well he went to guard the tight end and now you have the post route you i forgot to pull off of him right there but you guys get the idea let's go ahead and do it one more time let's have that setup I, i'll be tripping boy i'll be telling you i'll be too hyped to forget all the necessary i mean to remember all the necessary steps so now he's going to guard the tight end and now he had there's no one over the middle to guard that post and there you go so those are the three setups that I like to use against double in sale. Let's go against the uh, three, three setups again. The first setup is flat the inside slot receiver and then streak the inside most receiver. First read is the running back, then the tight end, then the streak route if it's cover three, and then the end route. Second setup is you want to smoke route the outside receiver, streak the slot receiver, and then run a smart route for the corner route. Same reads for the right side, you read high to low to the left. And then for the third setup, you just motion over that corner route, and then you go ahead and do a read on the user right there. And you still have your running back options and stuff like that. So if you guys are able to use this in your Patriots playbook, or if you guys are running gun trips tight end, this is able to help you out. And then just in general, if you guys like my videos, let me know by hitting the like button. It helps your boy out, helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys around next time with another play from the Patriots playbook. I'm out.